Hello, welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Srikan. In today's video, we're going to look at HANA as a service available on SAP Cloud Platform. I'm going to use my trial account to explain this session. The trial account is a free license provided by SAP to developers to get started with developments in Cloud Platform. I kind of already explained this topic in one of my previous sessions, and it's an update to that uh, with some of the navigation changed in the Cloud Platform developments. Before we get into the details of this topic, let's understand the background of it. So HANA as a service is fully managed service by SAP, which means it's fully available on cloud and there's no on-premise support required for this. So with that, um, there is no upgrade or maintenance required by the customer uh, because SAP is going to take care of everything including product support, maintenance, and upgrades as well. The current or latest version of SAP HANA as a service is available on Cloud Foundry environment of SAP CP. HANA as a service was available in new environment as well, but that is uh, during the time of HANA 1.0. So the latest 2.0 SP04 is available on Cloud Foundry environment only. So which means the future direction of SAP HANA as a service is going to be in Cloud Foundry uh, by using Web IDE as a development tool, Web IDE full stack as a development tool with all the Cloud Foundry principles of organization and space, deployments, etc. Okay, that's about the background. Let's take a look into the details of the topic. So you can see on my screen that this is a home page for the Cloud Platform Cockpit. So you can see the trial account and also launch SAP Web IDE. Well, we'll come to the Web IDE uh, in a few minutes and I'm going to access my trial account from this tab. So it's a little different from the previous uh, navigation. I've used to see the global account and the global account for the Neo environment and as well as the Cloud Foundries environment. So now it by default it goes into the trial of Cloud Foundry because that's where the HANA as a service is available uh, with the latest version. So I can see that my sub account has been created here so I can create a new sub account as well. So I'm, I'm fine. I already have a sub account here. I'm going to access my sub account here. You can see my organization and also my space. So I have one space called dev. I can have a new space created here. And this is all being explained in one of the previous sessions, which I just talked during the introduction. I will give the link reference to the previous session uh, in the same recording session so that you can I'll refer to that for the basic navigations. So I'll only explain the updates what I would like to put it in this session uh, for the better understanding purpose. So as I said, there is no big change uh, in terms of the organization and the space setup, etc. I want to touch base on the quota plans and entitlements. This, uh, these are very um, similar in even in for the production usage. This is a trial usage. I mean. The production uses of HANA as a service is also will be very similar to this one. So take a look at the entitlements. So it's going to show me um, my sub account entitlements. So you can see that here I have um, memory for application runtime. For sometimes you don't see the application runtime available for you in your production uses also. So with that, what is going to happen when you're trying to build any DB module or any of the DB artifacts in your Web IDE full stack, the build is going to fail just because of the reason that your application runtime is not available for building an application. So you'll have to make sure you have at least minimum of 4 GB of memory available for your application runtime. And of course, you need a full HNS as a service memory available in order to work on um, HANA platform developments. Right now, it's it's a uh, it's a trial account, so I don't really have a HANA um, memory instance on my trial account. But when you're working on an enterprise account, you will have that HANA as a service uh, purchased um, as a pay as a go service. Right now, as a trial account, I have HDI containers plan in order to build uh, some of the DB artifacts using Web IDE for HANA. So that's the service which is needed for that one, HANA schemas and HDI containers trial. This is a HDI shared plan and which will allow me to 
create some of the DB artifacts in Web ID full stack and it gets built. On the other side, when a production uh, use of HANA as a service, uh, you will have a service dashboard which is going to take you to HANA cockpit and also you can manage the, the HANA servers, all kinds of administration you will be able to do. And also you will be able to access DB Explorer from the service dashboard menu of the HANA as a service. That's all in the production uses of HANA as a service on Cloud Foundry setup of Cloud Platform. So I'm not able to show you that because it's a trial version and I'm focusing my session based on the trial version here. Okay, let's take a look at the service which is um, uh, being used for my trial account. I'm going to access my spaces. I will uh, get into my dev space and then um, I can see uh, the services here, the service instances. Um, that's the HDI shade uh, service available on my dev space. I don't have any user provided service in order to uh, externally connect to different applications uh, or different databases, etc. So I've created just one service instance with HDI shared plan uh, before and then I also, uh, when I build the objects in the WebID full stack, it's going to create another another service for me in, in service instance page of the space. Okay, let's take a look at the WebID full stack and how this particular service has been created from WebID full stack. So I'm going to go back to my home page. Oh, in the home page, I can see my SAP WebID launch tab. So before it used to be a service available in Neo environment of SAP, still it's available as part of Neo environment, but I can access or I can initiate or launch the web ID from the home page of my cloud platform trial account cockpit. So I'm going to click on this one and then I get into the web ID full stack. It's a single sign on and then I get into the workspace of web ID. Okay, here I have my workspace for developments and I've got a project MTACF test and then I've got a DB module inside that and I've got a source folder and then inside my source folder, I created a basic HDB table file, which allows me a, to create a table, a database table, and then um, start building the DB module and then also the project. And the MTAML file is also here with the configurations automatically created as part of the graphical uh, project cre creation. There's no big change or there's no absolute change from the previous explanation. It's just that I'm trying to explain um, the access to the web ID full stack is being slightly changed in terms of the uh, navigation's perspective. As my development is finished in the source folder, I'm going to start building it and it gets activated and it's going to create a service in my um, uh, space, a respective space where the project is bound to. So that's how this particular service has been created um, when I uh, built the DB application in the Web IDE full stack. After the service has been created, I can access the, the database artifacts from DBA Explorer. So the, the tab to access the DBA at DB artifacts is the DB Explorer. So you'll have to make sure you are logging in to the same cloud region where you have your developments on in the WebID workspace. So I have my developments on, if I have my developments on US 10, um, the US Eastern region, I have to choose that one. If there is a different server I have used, then I'll have to um, use so I'll have to switch to the other version. So I'm going to use my credentials and then I make sure uh, I'm logging into the same region servers uh, in DB Explorer also. And then I can see my, the container which has been added in this particular space. I can add a new database. I'll be able to see all the HDI containers 
available in this particular uh, space in the organization I can also choose to add a, a, a database multi-tenant SAP HANA database which is like a HANA as a service database um, right now I don't have it because I am using a, a trial version if you're using a fully enterprise version you will be able to access fully managed HANA as a service and then you will be able to access that in this particular and as a database in the DB Explorer. So I can add any HDI containers uh, which are built in this particular workspace and then access the DB runtime artifacts in this particular place. So right now I have just one. I can see the table which has been created here and that's the table uh, I've created in the workspace here. So that's the setup of uh, WebID for HANA and HANA trial, HANA as a service trial account with HDI schemas in WebID for in, in, in the SAP cloud platform account setup. So with these two things set up, uh, you are good to start with your database developments and application developments and also UI developments all together. So you just basically maintain the navigations from full stack to make the developments and then for administration you come to the cockpit and make the services um, users roles configurations um, memory allocations and etc from the cockpit uh, uh, home page and that's a good uh, start to begin with and then you can start building all your developments in WebID full stack with a lot of templates available in cloud platform of SAP. And one final note that if in any time you face any issues accessing the WebID full stack, uh, that's a kind of a uh, misleading error uh, that your s subscription is being expired, please extend your trials. You, you'll have to extend your trial still giving the issue, then that means you have to delete your uh, global account, not the sub account, your global account itself, and then you get a fresh new um, uh, in account setup and then you will be able to access the web ID full stack back to normal. So with all this said, a um, lot of innovations and a lot of uh, new features firstly introduced in the, the cloud version of uh, HANA as a service and then later it comes to the on-premise version of HANA as a service or any of the on-premise products. So in on-premise it is HANA installation with access advanced on um, the developments will be done on WebID for HANA as a development tool with GitHub integration. On cloud, uh, it's the Cloud Foundry environment with organization and space, same concepts as Accessive because it's taken from Cloud Foundry setup. Um, WebID full stack has been uh, the development tool with GitHub integration as it is on the on-premise wallets. So both are very co uh, exist in nature and then you will uh, work on one of these two platforms, either cloud or on-premise based on the customer's um, existing setup. Uh, that's all for this session. I hope uh, it's, it's helping you and thank you very much for detailed training on these topics. Please reach out to me on the email ID, surampalias at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.